Hi, guys. Hey, Tom, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. We'll get started. Our first question will come from Rick Stroud. Hey, Tom, you certainly got contributions from Cyril and Keyshawn, and, and we'll ask you about them. But I want to ask you about having Antonio back, you know, 15 targets for him to catch 10 for over 100. What did that mean to your your day-to-day? -day? Yeah, I thought everybody obviously did a great job. Um, different guys kind of who haven't had as many opportunities uh, made a lot of great plays. And A.B. played great, just like he always does. Um, we needed it with Mike out, Chris out, B.P. out. Um, so line played great. Running backs played really well. Rowe played good with Lenny out. Keyshawn came in, ran hard. So we got to keep finding different ways to win. We got a huge game coming up in New York. And uh, it'd be great to get our 12th win up there. We'll go to Greg Allman. Tom, this is such an unusual week with so many key players out. I just want to ask you what the key was to playing an entire game without Mike, without Chris, without Lenny and having no turnovers and just playing as clean a game as you guys did offensively to make this easy. Yeah, we got to play clean games and um, it sucks having those guys out. We'd much rather have them all out there with us. So, um, you know, we like playing with all those guys and they add so much to our offense, Chris and Mike and um, Leonard. Um, obviously they just couldn't go today. Um, we're going to miss Chris all year. And in the meantime, we're going to try to do our best to, you know, get other guys opportunity and see if they can make the plays. And a bunch of guys did today and, we got to keep it going next week. We'll go to Jenna Lee. Hey, Tom, congratulations. Earlier in the week, we talked about you getting your opportunity in the NFL and how you were ready for your moment. What did these guys, the Keyshawn Vaughns of the locker room, the Cyril Grayson's, um, Anthony Nelson, what did those guys show you uh, in that they were ready for their moment today too? Yeah, they put in the work. They put, they've got, you know, take advantage of their opportunity. That's all you can do. You know, you never know when you're going to get it. Um, different guys got different chances today and, you know, they took advantage of it. So, you know, it's one game, it's an important game, a game we needed, um, especially coming off last week where we didn't play very well. Um, but this is, you know, now we got to go take care of business on the road, um, you know, up North and I'm sure there'll be some inclement weather and, you know, got to figure out how to go win a game a different way up there. We'll go to Joey Knight. Tom, A.B. hadn't played in a game in two and a half months. Were you surprised he was able to give you that many reps? Yeah, I was. You know, I know he, he's he been itching to get back out there, and he's, um, you know, just putting himself in a position to succeed. So, you know, everyone's happy when he's out there doing making plays for us, and he does a great job for the quarterbacks and uh, makes a lot of critical plays, a lot of tough catches, had him on some other chances where I was going to him and ran good routes. The ball just got knocked away, so it was a good – um. It was a great performance by him. He did a great job. We'll go back to Greg Allman. I know you would have wanted this a week ago, but just to, to win a division title, I know you've had a lot of them, but the Bucks have not. What it means to have that first banner and the first real goal cleared for this team? Well, I'm not taking anything for granted. You know, winning a division is hard to do. Um, and we've earned it. I mean, it's we're 11 and 4, so that's not – you know, it's not the greatest record in the world, but it's certainly not the worst either. So 11-4, and four, I'll take it. Um, you know, we've lost some, lost some tough games. I think we've learned from each of those tough losses. But, you know, everything's ahead of us. And we got to, you know, again, get to another win next week. That'd be huge for us. And then we got to got to finish these next two games really strong. And then, you know, we'll see where things stack up after that. We have time for a few more. Next, we'll go to Jenna Lane. Tom, I'm curious, what did you learn about this team? Um, what did you learn about everyone when they were faced with just so much adversity this week, losing so many key guys? I mean, you lost 60% of, of your scoring offense. Yeah, we lost a lot. We lost a lot. And um, I don't think you just make up for it overnight. We're going to have to learn each other, the different guys. We're going to have to, you know, do some different things with the guys that are in there. And, um, you know, guys are going to have to keep getting better and make improvements and Hopefully we can get some guys back this week and then, uh, you know, get even stronger at these positions. But, you know, guys are playing hard. The line's playing great. The tight ends are playing great. The backs obviously ran hard. Um, you know, we still got to get the backs involved in the pass game. The running backs, you know, are, they're running it good. And, you know, Lenny's kind of taking the lion's share of all those pass reps. So who's ever filling in when he's out has got to do a good job for us there. So um, we'll just keep trying to put together different combinations to – 
put some pressure on the defense. Last question will come from Rick Stroud. Tom, when uh, when Keyshawn scored, I know you ran down there. I think maybe the first guy you congratulated was Cyril. What did you think of his hustle to get the block down there? That was a great block. You know, that's that's what I'm happy. You know, I'm, that's a team game. You know, nothing's accomplished without every guy, everybody doing their job. And that was a great effort by Cyril. It wouldn't have scored without Cyril's effort. So I love seeing that. That's what great team football is all about. And, um, you know, that's what we've got to become. You know, we got to all fight for each other. The receivers got to block for the running backs, you know, because a lot of times the running backs got to sit in the backfield and block in the pass game to get the receivers the ball. When it's time to run the ball, the receivers got to do their job in the run game. So that's what complimentary football is all about. That's what being a great teammate's all about. You know, I, I love seeing those plays. Right, Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Take care.